Question 16. What are they saturators? Answer. When, in some processes, for example batch processes, long transient responses are expected during which a sustained deviation is present the controller integral action continuously drives the output to a minimum or maximum value. This phenomenon is called integral saturation of the control unit. When this condition is met, then this unit is desaturated. Question 17. Explain the working of rotameter. Answer. Variable area meters are special form of head meters, wherein the area of flow restrictor is varied so as to hold the differential pressure constant. The rotameter consists of a vertical tapered tube through which the metered fluid flows in upward direction. As the flow varies the float rises or falls to vary the area of the passages that the differential across it balances the gravitational force on the float. The differential pressure is maintained constantly. Constant. The position of the float is the measure of the rate of flow. Question 18. What is the working principle of the magnetic meter? Answer. An electric potential is developed when a conductor is moved across the magnetic field. In most electrical machinery the conductor is a wire. The principle is equally applicable to a moving, electrically conductive liquid. The primary device of commercial magnetic meters consists of straight cylindrical electrically insulated tube with a pair of electrodes nearly flush with the tube walls and located at opposite end of a tube diameter. This device is limited to electrically conducting liquids. The magnetic meter is particularly suited to measurement of slurries and dirty fluids. Question 19. Explain the mechanism behind the turbine meter. Answer. Turbine meters consist of straight flow tube within which a turbine or fan is free to rotate about its S axis which is fixed along G the center line of the tube. Mostly, a magnetic pickup system senses the rotation of the rotor through the tube walls. The turbine meter is a flow rate device. Since the rotor speed is directly proportional to the flow rate, the output is usually in the form of electric pulses from the magnetic pickup with a frequency proportional to the flow rate rate. Question 20. How would you choose differential range? Answer. The most common range for differential range for liquid measurement is 0 to 100. This range is high enough to minimize the errors caused by unequal heads in the seal chambers. It is also dependent on the differences in the temperature of the load lines. The 100 range permits an increase in capacity up to 400, while decrease down up to 20 by merely changing the range tubes or range adjustments. Question 21. What is the use of single-seated valve? Answer. The single-seated valve is used on smaller sizes where an absolute shutoff is required. The use of single-seated valve is limited by pressure drop across the valve in the closed or almost closed position. Question 22. What is the use of double-seated valve? Answer. In double-seated valves the upward and downward forces on the plug due to reduction of fluid pressure are nearly equalized. It is generally used on bigger size valves and high pressure systems. Actuator forces required are less. Question 23. What is the use of valve positioner? Answer. Valve positioner can be used for following reasons. Quick action. Valve hysteresis. Viscous liquids. Split range. Line pressure changes on valve. Bench set not standard. Reverse valve operations. Question 24. What are primary elements of measuring pressure? Which type of pressure can be measured by these elements? Answer. Primary elements of measuring pressure are, Borden tube, diaphragm, capsule, bellows, pressure springs. These elements are known as elastic deformation pressure elements. Question 25. What are different types of control valves? Answer. The commonly used control valves can be defined as follows. A. Depending on action. Depending on action there are two types of control valves. Air to open, air to close. B. Depending on body. Depending on body there are four types of control valves. Globe valves single or double seated. Angle valves. Butterfly valves. Three way valves. Question 26. What is force balance principle? State some of its advantages. Answer. Force balance principle. A controller which generates an output signal by opposing torque. The input force is applied on the input bellows which moves the beam. This crackles nozzle back pressure. The nozzle back pressure is sensed by the balancing bellows which brings the beam to balance. The baffle movement is very less about 0.0024 for full scale output. Advantages. Moving parts are fewer. Baffle movement is negligible. Frictional losses are less. 
Question 27. What is furnace draft control? Answer. Balanced draft boilers are generally used negative furnace pressure when both forced draft and induced draft are used together. At some point in the system the pressure will be same as that of atmosphere. Therefore the furnace pressure must be negative to prevent hot gas leakage. Excessive vacuum in the furnace however produces heat losses through air infiltration. The most desirable condition is that the one have a very slight negative pressure of the top of furnace. Question 28. What is intrinsically safe system? Answer. Intrinsic safety is a technique for designing electrical equipment for safe use in locations made hazardous by the presence of flammable gas or vapors in the air. Intrinsically safe circuit is one in which any spark or thermal effect produced either normally or under specified fault conditions is incapable of causing ignition of a specified gas or vapor in air mixture at the most ignited concentration. Question 29. Hat is in a diode. What is voltage regulator? Answer. The breakdown region of a PN diode can be made very sharp and almost vertical diodes with almost vertical breakdown region are known as zener diodes. A zener diode operating in the breakdown region is equivalent to a battery. Because of this current through zener diode can change but the voltage remains constant. It is this constant voltage that has made the zener diode an important device in voltage regulation. Question 30. What is Zener diode? What is voltage regulator? Answer. The breakdown region of a PN diode can be made very sharp and almost vertical diodes with almost vertical breakdown region are known as Zener diodes. A Zener diode operating in the breakdown region is equivalent to a battery because of this current through Zener diode can change but the voltage remains constant. It is this constant voltage that has made the Zener diode an important device in voltage regulation. Voltage regulator. The output remains constant despite changes in the input voltage due to Zener effect. 